Hello friends, welcome. In this lecture, we will talk about the market equilibrium, the concept and the meaning of the market equilibrium and how it is working. Market equilibrium is the combination of price and quantity and that result from the interaction between the demand curve and the supply curve. So when there is the interaction between the demand curve and the supply curve on the graph, the point, the situation is known as the market equilibrium. Here the quantity which the consumer is demanding and this quantity which the supplier will be ready to supply is equal. So here the consumer and the producer both will satisfy because the supplying quantity and the demanded quantity will be equal at the one point of price. So both of them are satisfied at one period of time. How it is shown onto the graph? Let's have the graph. On the x-axis we have the quantity whereas on the y-axis we have the price of the product. This is our demand curve and this is our supply curve. This is the intersection point between the demand curve and the supply curve. And at this point, the quantity demanded and supplied by the supplier will become equal and it is at the same price. So this point is known as the equilibrium point and the situation is known as the market equilibrium where the quantity and the supply will become equal. Let's understand this with the help of a small example. We have the price of the oranges and when the price will when the, there is change in the time period, the price will increase or decrease of the oranges. So it is 10, 8, 6, 4 and 2 etc. Whereas the quantity demanded will also differ according to the change in the prices of the product. So when there is a highest price that is rupees 10, no consumer would like to demand oranges. And when price decreasing, the demand for the product will also increase. In. We have the quantity supplied and this will also differ according to the price. So when there is highest price, the supplier would like to supply the maximum amount of the maximum unit of the oranges that is 20. When the price will decrease, in, the supplier will also decrease that the quantity supplied in the market. So when there is a lowest price that is rupees 2 no supplier would like to supply any quantity of the oranges so this is our uh, schedule of the price the quantity demanded and the supplied quantity let's show it let's understand how it is shown onto the graph on the x axis we have the quantity whereas on the y-axis we have the price of the product. So here we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 quantity and here the price is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 etc. Let's draw demand curve first. So when the quantity demand, when the price is 10, the quantity demanded is 0. When the price is 8, the quantity demanded is 5, then 10, 15, and 20. So, this will make our demand curve. Let's draw the supply curve now. At 10, the supplier would like to supply the 20 unit of the oranges then 15 at 8, then 10 at rupees 6 and 5 at rupees 4. 
and 0 entropy is 2. So this will become our supply curve. So here when the rup price rup is rupees 4, the quantity demanded when the price is 4 rupees, the quantity demanded is 15 rupees and the quantity supplied is 5 rupees. Right. So the demand is higher than the supply. So that is the shortage of supply that is of unit 10. So supplier knows that there is less supply in the market. So they would like to increase the supply. And when there is increase in the supply, the price of the product will also increase. And the situation is continued. This is the shortage at 4. And when they increase the supply in the prices, this will become over here. So the shortage will increase. And when this situation is continuing, the at rupees 8, the supplier at rupees 8, the quantity supplied is 15 and quantity demanded is rupees is 5 units. So that is a surplus because the supply is higher. So again customer supplier would like to decrease their supply because there is less demand and the supply is higher. So when they decrease their supply and decrease their price, the situation will over here and surplus will also reduce it. And when these process will continuing, they will reach at this point. Over there, the quantity demanded and supplied will, the, will be the same and it is at the same prices. So, this situation is known as the equilibrium situation in the market at which the consumer would like to demand the quantity which is the supplier would supply and the price of both will be same. Here, the both the supplier and the dem uh, demander, that is the consumer, will be satisfied. And this point is known as the equilibrium point. It is about the market equilibrium. What is the effect of change in the demand on the equilibrium? When there is change in the demand, the effect of this uh, changing in demand will also affect the equilibrium situation. So when there is the increase in the demand, the increase in the demand will also change the increase in the price. So demand when sell from D to D dash, the price will also increase from P0 to P1. So increase in demand will lead to increase in the price and quantity will also increase from Q to K0. So quantity will also increase. And when there is the end, the equilibrium point will, would also shift from here to here. So this is about the increase in the demand. And when there is the decrease in the demand, it is exactly opposite of it. When the demand is decreasing, that is D dash to D, the price will decreasing and the quantity supplied will also decreasing and the equilibrium point will be, will shift from here to here. So this is about the effect of change in demand on the equilibrium. What is the effect of change in supply on the equilibrium? Here we have the constant demand and the supply is changing from S to S dash. When the supply is changing from S to S dash, the price will decrease from P0 to P1 that is here to here and the quantity that is that will be increasing from Q0 to Q1. So price will increase decreasing and the quantity will increasing and the equilibrium point will shift from here to here. So this is about the effect of change in supply on the equilibrium. This is all about the market equilibrium. 
So let's have the summary of the today's lecture. In this, we have covered the concept on and the meaning of the market equilibrium, the shortage and the surplus of the supply, and how the market equilibrium works, the effects of change in demand and the supply on the equilibrium. This is about the today's lecture. We will understand.